This week's profitable moment. The announcement that Donald Trump and perhaps half his cabinet are to go to the World Economic Forum at Davos in a couple of weeks is simply fascinating. Think about it. The Conservatives that propelled Trump to victory had called the Davosian men and women the grotesque global elites. And now President Trump, who has railed against everything they stand for in terms of globalization, is going right to the heart. So what message is he going to bring? Is it a victory lap where he can go and say to the CEOs, the NGOs, the other world leaders, look, I won and this is how it's going to be from the US's point of view? Or is he going to try and build bridges saying, I want to work together, there's a common ground? Whichever way it is, I'm pretty certain one message will ring loud. It's different now doing business with the United States. We got an inkling of that with the United Nations recently, when he basically told the other countries that wouldn't vote with the US, we don't care on the question of uh, Jerusalem being the new Israeli capital. No vote in the United Nations will make any difference on that. What will the other participants make of all of this? Yes, they are the world leaders and they are CEOs, but there does tend to be a general liberal bias in the way they think. And the whole thing is steeped in policy from start to finish. I guarantee you that if Donald Trump wasn't there, many of them would spend most of the time criticizing him and his policies. The fact that he turns up, will there be any heckling? Will there be demonstrations? Will there be protests? Or will the participants just sit there in quiet indignation? And that's this week's Profitable Moment. I'm Richard Quest in New York. Whatever you're up to in the week ahead, I hope it's profitable.